Hey guys, welcome back to Mighty Dubia Feeders, Michelle and Gio. Um, today we're quickly going to take you on a very quick tour, or I guess like a little educational video about, um, this is one of our smaller breeder, uh, these are Dubia, and they are one of our smaller breeder bins. And so it's time to, once a month, um, we have quite a few bins now, and so we've decided to not tackle them all in one day, so we try to do little by little. So we're going to go ahead and clean this bin out. We're going to be moving them into this larger bin, um, possibly adding some more to them. So that way they'll have a, a, a much bigger spot to make more babies for us, to move around, and, and it's gonna be much more spacious for them. So that is what the plan is for today. And so yeah. Um, I see that there are some babies already, so we have pretty female here, um, in case you're new and you don't know much about these, um, the shiny big ones like this one, um, uh, such as this one, the ones that have the little wings, uh, they are the females. You see how she has little wings like that? So those are the females, and what we do on our channel is a one to four ratio, meaning one male to every uh, four females. And that makes a very healthy, happy colony for us to produce babies. And so you can see they have been producing babies. So I am going to take you on a journey of just how we kind of sort and count these guys and clean up these bins and just, you know, get it all worked out. And we also have a customer that has ordered a, uh, one of our colony starter kits. So we're also gonna be getting some of these uh, Dubia uh, kits together to get that. So we'll probably be doing that around the same time. All right, guys, here we go. So I got my, I have my, my sorting tray here just to kind of keep track. So I got, I'm gonna start separating, sorting, putting four, uh, four to one ratio into a clean container. And that's kind of what I'm doing now. So I got, I want to, I'm trying to, try to get a count of what we got here. So it's gonna be a little tedious trying to figure out what we got. And so what we normally do is we count a hundred of the babies and we weigh a hundred and then we get the weight on that and then we'll know how many hundreds or usually it's thousands of them that we can acquire and then we transfer those to the nursery bin. Not bin, bin.
takes a lot of effort to keep up this counting correct. It's getting all the, all the remainder babies and we also got some, some dead ones. There's always some die off. I'm trying to separate all this frass out of here too. Babies and the frogs and the dead, all the dead gory body parts <laughs> that they actually eat off of that. So we didn't have too much die off. Um, you know, you're gonna expect that. You're gonna have a little die off, but um, it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I see a freshly molted uh, baby over there, so be careful with that one. All right. All right. So, gonna, the, uh, gonna get into our uh, another bin that we have that we need to count, and we're missing uh, about 16 more females for this bin number one that we're doing that we're putting together. So he's gonna go grab another one so we can keep on going. This one's not as it wasn't as bad as the other one. Mm-hmm. But it still needs, it needs to be cleaned out. So this is another one. This is one of our our little bit larger ones. Um, so we're going to clean out this one. So this is our second bin that we're cleaning out. Um, and we're going to be transferring some of these into this bin. So just kind of like making them all go together because they can do that. Sometimes we, uh, sometimes we make starter bins. Um, and then when they get a little bit larger, um, we just like to start combining them into the larger bin because it's just easier. So that's what we're doing. Okay, this is what we got. We were able to get out of the small bin and half of the large bin. Unfortunately, it is way too hot right now to keep going. It is over 100 degrees, and of course, we don't want to do this indoors and have any escapees. So, um, what I'm going to do to know how much we got out today is I'm going to count 100 of these babies. And then I'm going to weigh them on my scale and go ahead and, you know, tabulate the whole shebang and see how much thousands we have in here. And then I'm going to add these to our newborn bin. So that's how we do that. That way, if you need any newborn um, or small, because these guys will have an instar pretty soon in the weeks to come, and they'll be um, they'll be for sale under our small category. Okay, friends, um, so I have put 100, hand counted 100 myself here. Um, they're all around the same size, so I know I'm gonna be pretty accurate on that count and as far as the weight goes. And I'm gonna use this scale here, gonna turn it on, and I'm gonna do grams. And so, oops, sorry, turn it on. And I'm gonna put it at, let's see, grams. Got to go through the whole gamut here. All right, we're at zero at grams. And so now I'm going to see how much these hundred weigh in grams. And then I'm going to go weigh the whole thing to see how much our inventory is. 
Okay, did I get everything? Got everything? All right, you can see that 100 newborn smalls are four grams. So I'm going to attempt and try to do this without spilling it because that would be bad. Lagging. I don't know if I got a big enough container here. I don't know if I can fit them all. Let me not let any escape. Hey you, get back over there. Get back down there. If you guys are like gold, I don't want to lose you. Get down. You too, you too. So I got 63 grams. Okay, so let me pour this in here. Let's see, hold on. Let me pause that. I'm scared I'm gonna make a mess. All right, and so all out of there. And so now I have 32 grams. And I think I said, oh Lord, I already forgot how many I had. I'll have to rewind it. I, said, I think it was, was it 63? Anyway, so that's, uh, let me go back and figure out and then I'll tell you how many that equivalents if they were four grams for 100. Be right back. Okay, what I just did is I I just did it all over again because I forgot my numbers because I'm distracted with filming. So um, what I went ahead and did is the bigger one um, and they're all in there and it says it's 95 grams for these. And so if a gram was 100, or 100 was four grams, then how many, let me, let me do the calculations. So this 95 grams um, is equivalent to 23.75 individual roaches so 2300 that's pretty good for less than a month really um, in just one of our bins so I'm gonna this is our nursery bin over here and I'm just gonna let these babies go in here and join the other babies that are hiding in there hope you guys enjoyed this today uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you did if you're interested in purchasing any dubia uh, or mealworms or protein packs where we do a variety of those visit us at uh, mightydubiafeeders.com also you can find us at on instagram under our name mighty dubia feeders plus and um, our pet vlogs at gtm pet adventures y'all have a blessed day bye-bye